Hello lovely people! Today's video is for those of you wearing glasses. I'll be showing you how to get three really simple everyday looks and I've also included some tips and tricks on what to do and what to avoid when you're doing your makeup and wearing glasses. Today's video is kindly sponsored by GlassesUSA.com. They were kind enough to send me some of their glasses and I'll be featuring them in today's video. By the way, this is my new favorite pair of glasses. It's so cute! But I know that shopping for glasses online can be really scary, I understand that. But they have that really cool feature on their website, glassesusa.com, that you can try out all of their glasses and it's pretty accurate. So here is how you do it. You go on their website, you click on that try on button and then you upload an image of yourself. Make sure that you're looking straight to the camera, that will work best. Then you do the adjustments and you click on try on glasses and boom! Now you're all over their website, being able to see how all of their glasses look on you and decide which one you like the most. Super convenient, super easy. They have a huge selection of glasses. These are my second favorite. And you know how it is with shopping online, right? You, you see something online, you like it, but when you receive it, it turns out that it's not what you're looking for. Well, if that's the case with the glasses that you order, no worries, just send them back, you'll get your money back and they have free return and free shipping, so you lose nothing. You can add prescription to almost any of the frames on their website, including sunglasses. Oh, and don't think like these are like super expensive eyeglasses. They do have some more expensive pairs that have a brand name on them. They're a little bit more fancy, but you can definitely find something more budget friendly. They have some very nice frames at really reasonable prices. So definitely go check them out. A link is going to be down in the description box. I'm sure that all of you can find something that you like on there. So with that being said, let's go ahead now and move on to the makeup part. Alright, so I'm gonna start off by applying my foundation, but I'm gonna avoid the most problematic part of the face when wearing glasses. The nose! <laughs> this is where the makeup disaster is happening when wearing glasses. Now, if you have dry skin, you can skip this step, but if you have oily skin, Take some face primer meant for oily skin, which you know that will absorb the excess oils and just press that on the skin on your nose. And make sure that you focus that in the area that your eyeglasses will be sitting. Now, usually the part that I want to conceal around my nose is right here. Right here. This is where I'm getting more redness and you know my skin is just not really even here. So I'm gonna add some concealer and I'm gonna I'm gonna blend it with my finger. Okay, and now whatever I have on my finger, I'm not adding any more product. I'm just gonna bring it on my nose. If you have a blemish or a scar or something that you wanna cover on your nose, just do spot concealing and make sure that most of the product is focused on the tip of your nose. And as you go higher, just feather it. You wanna have a very, very small amount of product in this area because the glasses are going to cover it up anyway, so you don't need all of that product in here. And the more product that you bring in this area here, the bigger the disaster. You can also take a clean tissue and blot. It will take most of it. See, I barely had anything in there. Now, again, if you have dry skin, you can skip this step. But if you have oily skin, take some translucent powder, okay, and set this area. This will help absorb the excess oils throughout the day. Another step that I think that it's really important to add to your makeup routine if you're wearing glasses is to conceal your under eye area. So I'm adding some concealer here. Okay. I'm also adding a little bit here. I'm gonna blend it out. Make sure that you don't bring it on your nose. And also right in here. This is a very important area to conceal. I want to be really precise when blending it out, so instead of my sponge, I'm gonna use a brush. And as you can tell, I'm blending that away from my nose. Concealing the under eye area always makes you look more fresh, more awake, and depending on your skin type, you can use some powder to set that concealer under the eyes. I have pretty dry skin, so I'm gonna skip the, the setting part, but if you have oily skin or if you find that your concealer is creasing throughout the day, go ahead and use some powder on top of it. A little bit of a tinted brow gel will definitely make my brows look a little bit more put together without 
making them too intense because I'm going to pair this look with more bold and colorful frames so if you prefer those kind of frames I would suggest you to keep your eyebrows a little bit more toned down now for this look you want your eyes to be really bright you want them to really pop behind the glasses so take a very very bright face highlighter or shimmery eyeshadow whatever you have you just want it to be very bright okay you can definitely go with something matte I just prefer some shimmers <laughs> you know me I like shimmery eyelids I'm warning you, I'm gonna say something silly, but if the solar system was your face, you want your eyelids to be the sun. You want them to be the brightest spot on your face, okay? <laughs> Hope that makes it clear for you. But just make sure that you're not bringing that in your crease okay you want it to be just on your lid talking about the crease i'm gonna take this eyeshadow which kind of matches with my shirt and i'm gonna run that in my crease just to add some definition now go ahead and smudge that same eyeshadow along your lower lashes and since we want this look to be as bright as possible i'll also add some highlight in the inner corners of my eyes and on my brow bone if you've never tried wearing white pencil in your waterline, you should definitely do it because that will change the way your eyes look, for sure. Curling the lashes is essential, so I like curling my lashes in a few different spots throughout the length. I hope that makes any sense. But I'm starting off from the roots and then I'm slightly moving my lash curler a little bit further, curling again, taking it a little bit further and curling again. That way I make sure that they're as lifted as possible because if they're looking straight and you coat them with mascara, there is a huge chance that they will be hitting the lenses. Red lippy complements black frames like this so much. This style is called Sam Black and it's a lovely classic black frame. It gives you that sophisticated look like, hey, I know what I'm doing with my life. The lenses are larger, the frame is thicker. It's a very classic pair of glasses. Or you can definitely match the color of your glasses with your lipstick. Like check out these beautiful red frames in combo with red lipstick. So pretty, right? This pair is called Muse Lila Red. These are also coming in black and tortoise, but I pick up the red because I think that it's pretty cool. All right, but let's be real. This can be a very intense combo for some of you like red frames red lipstick there is a lot of color on the face so of course you can go with something more nude i like that they're a little bit extended here and i think that this shape of frames works really well with my face shape i was afraid that they would be very intense red color but when i received them and i put them on i was like hey it's not that bad actually i didn't expect to like them that much you guys um oh they make me excited um Loving them. I can't stop looking myself at the viewfinder. Okay, anyways, let's move on. <laughs> For the next look, we're keeping the same face makeup, the same eyebrows, but we're going to do a different eye look. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm starting off by applying a light gray shimmery cream eyeshadow all over my eyelid. And using a brush, I will slightly diffuse it into my crease just to make sure that there are no harsh lines and you know, everything looks nice and smooth. Okay, and now on an angled brush, I'm taking some black eyeshadow and I'll smudge that between my lower lashes and slightly extend it towards the tail of my brow. Nothing too crazy, just a tiny baby wink there. And then I'll also add it right here on my, on my lash line. I don't want to create a sharp line, I want it to be nice and smoky. I'll keep it just in the outer half of my eye. I won't bring it towards the inner corner because that can kind of make my eyes look more closed and you know, it's better if you keep it just in the outer half of your eye. See, kind of connecting it with the line that I did when I was applying that black eyeshadow along my lower lashes and just Smudging, smudging, smudging. 
Okay, and this is what you want to have. You want that black eyeshadow to be hugging the outer corners of your eyes. Hugging the outer corners. That sounded so cute. Now, I'm taking uh, some of this eyeshadow on a smudging brush like this one. And I will smoke out that black eyeshadow along my lower lashes so that it doesn't look like a harsh line there. And then again, I'm curling and coating my lashes with some mascara and nothing defines the eyes like some black pencil in the waterline. Alright, and I'm gonna finish up this look by adding some highlighter in the inner corners of my eyes in the tear duct. I won't do much on the lips, I'll just line them with some nude lip pencil and then on top I'll add some lip gloss. This pair is called Western and they're more rounded. I love that thin matte frame. I think that it's so beautiful because of that thinner frame. First of all, they're very lightweight and they don't look heavy on the face, you know, they look more delicate. And if you have softer features, this will look great on you. They make me look a little bit like like librarian, they definitely make me look smarter. <laughs> I prefer my glasses to have thinner frames just because I feel like my face is a little bit smaller and if I put on glasses with very thick frames, that doesn't look good on me. Check this pair out. There are two things that I like about this pair of glasses. The first one, the Kerai so beautiful and the second one is that there is nothing framing them here which is so cool and when you look down to read or something there is nothing down here blocking your view i mean you're still able to see the edge of the glass but that's all i mean there is not like a black frame here it's really convenient i'm gonna pair this pair of glasses pair this pair of well, anyways i'm gonna pair these glasses with something more bold on the lips this pair is called Ototo Daniele and they definitely give you that retro vibe. I think that they look so feminine. For the third look, I'm gonna take a brown eyeshadow like this one and I will apply that in the outer half of my eyelid, bringing it slightly into my crease but mainly keeping it in the outer half of my eyes. I'm also bringing that brown shade along my lower lashes, connecting it with the upper lid situation. And then I'm moving on to the eyeliner, I'm gonna do a small wink. I'm using a brown one, then curling my lashes, coating them with mascara. And lastly, I'm adding a white pencil in my waterline for this look as well. I just think that it really makes the eyes pop and it looks really nice behind the glasses. This has to be one of my favorite pairs. It reminds me a lot of the glasses that I wore when I was going to school. Mine were way smaller than these, but the shape is very similar. I will pair this with a nude, like pinkish lip color and maybe I'll add some gloss on top just for some extra shine. The frame of these is metal and I absolutely love the color. I got them in rose gold, but they're also available in black or burgundy. But I think that the rose gold one is very flattering on my skin tone. It's just a little bit more subtle. You can wear these basically everywhere, at work, at school, just a very nice pair of everyday kind of glasses. Switching to a pair that definitely makes an impression. These are the Muse from the Hilary Duff collection. The frames are made of plastic and there is a soft touch of pink, as you can tell. The shape is also really interesting. On the website, they describe it like square kerai butterfly. Such a long description, right? But I think that it's a really fun one. Definitely something bolder, definitely something for those of you who like to express yourself through your style, who like to make an impression and you just prefer the more unique looks. They also offer some bomb sunglasses. Oh, you can basically see the whole mess on my desk right now. <laughs> Hold on, I need to clean that. Okay, that's way better. You can even see my viewfinder there. <laughs> you can barely see my eyes. I love that. These are called Emilia E. Christie and they're oversized. When I saw that Kerai, I was so. I also got another pair of sunglasses which I want to show you. Uh, I don't know if you if you noticed, but I've been really obsessed with red. And check out these burgundy frames. Woo! They're oversized, extended here at the top, and they're covering the half of my face. That's what I want from my sunglasses. I want them to cover the half of my face. So. I'm loving these. <laughs> I think that 2019 is going to be the year of the colorful glasses and sunglasses for me. These lights are so bright. Uh, ooh. So I really hope you guys find this video helpful. Let me know which one was your favorite pair of glasses. Mine, I already told you at the beginning, are these. 
and this. Also, don't forget to check out glassesusa.com. A link is going to be down in the description box as well as a special offer for you. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, now is the time to do it. And don't forget to press that bell button right next to the subscribe button because that way you're going to be notified whenever I post a new video. Except for YouTube, you can also find me on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. I want to thank you guys so, so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in my next one. Bye!